It's Entertainment Schmig. And it's brought to you by Plaza Motor, Signs of Hope. Spotify went through a bunch of music and came up with the definitive list, the most popular Halloween songs. <laughs> Aren't there like four? All time. Well, I mean, there's... Go, let, me na- let me name the ones I know. Right. Okay. You've got Monster Mash. Yep. Here, Bobby, Number two. Bobby Pickett. Okay. Yep. Bobby Boris Pickett. Is it? You've got uh, you've got Ghostbusters. Yes. Three. Number three on the list. Ghostbusters, Ray Parker Jr. You've got Someone is Watching Me by Rockwell. Rockwell. Oh, yep. yeah. Number seven. Um, Thriller. Oh, of course. I was saving that because I figured that's number one. Okay. Well, okay. Let me know if you're saving one so I don't <laughs> jump in. Okay. <laughs> well, it was my list. Well, you know, you, well, you know what? You're right. <laughs> it's actually my list. What? <laughs> <laughs> he told me to name them. That's right. Okay. Let me tell you some of the ones that you might not. That's what we should have done. The ones, the, the less obvious ones. Uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince, A Nightmare on My Street. Oh, yeah. I don't remember that one. Screaming Jay Hawkins, I Put a Spell on oh, You. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ozzy Osbourne, oh, yeah. Bark at the Moon. Werewolf in London. Uh-huh. Uh, at, you know what? Warren not Zivon on the list. not no! on the list. Not on the list, oh. and neither is Steve Miller Band Abracadabra, which I would say falls under yes. the Halloween umbrella. I don't know. Uh, Bad Moon Rising? Uh, Blue there? Oyster Cult, Don't Fear the Reapers mm-hmm. on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. More Cowbell. Um... R- Time Warp from Rocky Horror Picture oh, yeah. Show, oh, yeah. number five. Do and the then time warp. that's this not how it goes. <laughs> it's yeah. Let's do, do the, the time, time warp again. again. What, what was I do singing? The time warp. <laughs> <laughs> it's in that, that's a part of it. Yeah, the music. Do the time warp. <laughs> Let's do the time warp again. I just happened to pick a part of it, Courtney, that you were unfamiliar with. Why not do the hook? By the way, this is my part. <laughs> um, and uh, Danny Elfman, this is Halloween from The Nightmare Before oh, Christmas. Boingo, this Boingo? is Halloween. This no. is Halloween. No. Halloween. Sorry. Halloween. All right. But Thriller, number one on the list. <laughs> I got the Guys, that's part of it. Oh, wait a minute. Reverse moonwalk. <laughs> All right. I'll be okay. like that. I did that for the video portion of our <laughs> broadcast. Wow, that's that's a reason to go view. Uh-huh. Uh, I know what. Oh, must my fly down? <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to see. see? Ah, you'll have to go cheese. to the video and take a look. <laughs> it's called a warning, I guess. <laughs> Nothing uh, to see here, folks. Something. <laughs> hey, it's my fly. <laughs> <laughs> something just as scary, I guess. Bruce Jenner, I know. He's like become the punchline to every single joke. And the latest rumor is that Chris Jenner did not celebrate with uh, their daughters when they went out for Bruce's birthday earlier this week because she's embarrassed as the evidence is mounting that he's exploring something. Nail polish, his ombre, ombre hair. I he's mean. got a he's got a distinct advantage for the uh, costume contest tonight. He can win in both the men's and women's division. <laughs> is that a like Twitter that joke? That sounds like a Twitter joke. It, it's up. <laughs> <laughs> Something similar. By the way, not a bad costume. You know, half of you is oh, a yeah. gold oh, medalist. Yeah. The other half is oh, uh, nice. yes. you're Brilliant. sort of Great. coming out. This is what we call the transitional outfit. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Movies out this weekend. Nicole Kidman, Before I Go to Sleep. Not getting stellar reviews, I guess. But also Jake Gyllenhaal in Nightcrawler and Daniel Radcliffe in Horns. Last night on Two and a Half Men, John Cryer came out in his ducky costume from Pretty in Pink. I watched You should have it. made that one continuous sentence uh, there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I watched it. It was I watched the very beginning to mm-hmm. see him as Ducky. He looked the outfit still looks good on him. Really? They gave him a hard time. Like what? Who are you supposed to be? It's from Pretty in Pink. You know, one of the greatest movies of all time. <laughs> what did they say about Ferris Bueller? Oh yeah, you should have gone to something that people know. Ferris Bueller. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> on TV tonight, or uh, yeah, The Good Wife tonight. Why? I uh, don't know. Huh? Don't know. All right. Saturday Night Live, by the way. My Chris... DVR knows this, okay, though. Okay, good, apparently. good. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about it. I don't think so. That's right. Uh, Saturday Night Live, Chris Rock hosting and Prince performing. Let me warn you on this one. If you're not a fan of the jam, Prince, you know, normally they have SNL musical guests do two songs. Right. Mm-hmm. 
Prince instead is going to do one eight minute long jam. I is he going to do a couple songs yeah, in that eight does, minutes? Yeah, if he does his hits. I th- he's not going to do his hits. I don't think so. No. I'm assuming he's not doing hits, and if that's the case, I will swallow my tongue. <laughs> Hit fast forward, because oh, I'm not a fan of the eight-minute jam. Not a fan of the noodle bands either, okay? Yeah, I don't love them either. Pearl Jam, take your 16-minute oh version God. of Yellow Lead Better and leave it at home, okay? That's I'm why I don't you. go see you in concert. I went and saw, and it was not... <laughs> Not my favorite. A disappointment. It yeah. was a little bit. Uh-huh. Here's a little treat for you. Paul Rubens announcing a new Pee Wee Herman movie. And it's about time. Judd Apatow will be producing it. Ooh. Yeah. I know a lot of people are saying that's going to be good. And Halloween birthdays. Celebrities, if you celebrate your birthday on Halloween, you celebrate with Peter Jackson from uh, Lord of the Rings and Hobbit fame. Rob Schneider. <laughs> Comedian. We're going to go up and down here. Dermot Mulrooney. YouTube drummer Larry Mullen Jr. He's one of my favorite drummers. <laughs> He's the only one you know besides Tommy Lee. Hey. <laughs> name uh, one. I could name a thousand drummers. Okay. Go. Ringo Starr would be one drummer. Okay. Name two more. Another more. Drummer. Adam Levine would be another drummer. He's no. Yes, he is. Nah, but he, he is a drummer. Mickey Dolan's. Well, the monkeys He's stop drummer. helping him. It's not I'm your trying drummer. To help him. It is his drummer <laughs> list now. This is guy's list. <laughs> All right. Ringo Buddy, Star. Buddy Guy. Um, uh, I like how he started with the Ringo Star. Well, mm-hmm. I'm saying, you know, this is my wheelhouse, sister. Okay? I know a lot of drummers. All I have to do is think of the groups, and I will come up with the drummers. But I'm not going to do that now because <laughs> we don't have the time and I don't have the inclination. Uh, other to Halloween birthdays, Jane Pauley, Dan Rather, and Vanilla Ice, 47. Oh, and also my uh, my sister-in-law, Melanie Berghoff. It's her birthday as well. Oh, and my neighbors, Tommy and Maya and the Ogle twins, Karen and Lauren. Mickey Schlopak. <laughs> I don't have anyone. Eighth, eighth grade band. <laughs> That's entertainment, Schmick. More at 840, Schmick, Schmack down at 740, and more online at y98.com.